My name is Raul Flores. I'm an artist, and I work for an organization that's called The Heart Project, and I direct the Hollywood Media Arts Academy there. Also, I work for LACMA as a teaching artist in their education department. Here at Vernon Library, I come every Saturday. We spend about an hour to an hour and a half, and we make different works based on a piece from LACMA's collection. We made sculptures, we made animation, we did printmaking, we did painting, we did text in works. So we discuss history, we discuss language a lot in all of our conversations about art. So. Today, we were looking at um, a tile from Iran, but then also an American signature quilt from the 1800s, and then we created kind of a larger quilt using aerosol, but also creating their own stencil patterns as well. So we we're looking a lot at just pattern and how you can make meaning from pattern through its different uses. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Now, did you want it down? Yeah, again? I was just trying to get them to think of different ways that pattern and rhythm, the ways that we can see pattern and rhythm within our world. And I think a, one way that's faster for them to catch on to is by experiencing it through sound. So from there, I just wanted to take a look at how we can do the same thing with our eyes. And I noticed that right away, they were able to see within the two pieces, oh, here's the pattern here, this repeats here, it's the same on this side or that side. <laughs> Oh, that's good, but you know what we could do? If we don't have that, maybe we can hit the table then. So About seven of the 12 students that were here today are regulars who've returned over and over throughout the year, and they, they generally don't miss that much, so it's been a good relationship. They're generally centered in this neighborhood, but it's pretty interesting how many different schools that they come from and different backgrounds. Some of them know each other before they come in the room, but the majority of them don't. And that's been pretty cool to see friendships develop over time. One thing about this class in particular, mine is quote unquote teens, but as you notice from the age, they're not really teenagers. They're kind of preteens, but the library calls them teens. It's almost like the skills for getting ready to be a teenager. It's like building that connection to your environment and how you manage your emotions as well in the process of making an art that I think is kind of getting them ready to be a successful teenager as well. Also, what's kind of great is that they get this membership through NextGen where anyone 17 and under, not only did they get in the museum for free, but they also get to bring in one adult for free. And when you think of a family with five children, for example, they get to bring one adult in each for free, so it's five adults they get in for free. So basically the whole family gets to come for free. So do you want this whole part purple too? Okay, cool. We're gonna do that.